guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 54. Today we're going to be diving into Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. We're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit comes. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer by me. We're going to be led by me today, and the end of prayer will be done by me. So if you guys can, please bow your head and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. We thank you for this day that you have made. I rejoice in you, God. God. I pray that now as we're about to get into this time of your word, God. I pray that you have a blessing and come to work, God. I pray that you'll be able to reveal the information unto us, God. And today that we're able to learn your word, God. We pray that we continue to meditate in your word each and every day, God. To continue to come closer to you, God. I pray that we seek God, the Holy Spirit will tell us, God. Tell us and give us the information that I need. First, God, we pray as we seek, the Holy Spirit will continue to speak on to us, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we're going to be going into the word for today. Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. Chapter 2, the Holy Spirit comes. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then... What looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, everyone came running, and they were bewildered to hear their own languages being spoken by the believers. They were completely amazed. How can this be? They exclaimed. These people are all from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages. Here we are, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, people from Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, the province of Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the areas of Libya around Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. And we all hear these people speaking in our own languages about the wonderful things God has done. They stood there amazed and perplexed. What can this mean? They asked each other. But others in the crowd ridiculed them, saying, They're just drunk, that's all. That was the reading for today. That was Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. And as reading this, I was able to get so much information and so much different knowledge and thought about our scripture for today. The Holy Spirit came. One of the notes that I've written down for verses 4 was the Holy Spirit gave us the ability to speak in tongues. The Holy Spirit came into the atmosphere and everybody in the atmosphere started to speak tongues. That's why later when the Jew, the other Jews came in, they were like, they were wondering, it's like, they're speaking, they're speaking our language. They're speaking our language and they, they were very much confused on why they're speaking their language because it's people from different areas and they didn't speak the same language, so they, they were completely just surprised and a little bit, little bit outraged that they were able to understand their language. And in verse 11, the note that I written down was, the people from all over were speaking their languages and talking about the wonderful things God has done. And I think this is a very key part that not only they were able to speak in tongues, but they're talking about the wonderful thing that the Heavenly Father has done, which is very important because we always have to thank God for what he's done and just acknowledge him for what he has done. Then later on in the end of the scripture, we see that some people were on the side of believing it and then other people were like, no, they're junk. But later on in our next Bible study, we're going to find out more on uh, on that and get into uh, what Peter response was to them thinking that they were uh, drunk. Now we'll begin into our prayer for today. Now we'll begin into our closing prayer for today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the reading of today, God. We thank you for the things that we learned and the key information that we pointed out, God. We pray that you continue to give us the abilities and the talents, God. We pray that we'll be able to use it for you and continue to be rejoicing for it, God. That as the Holy Spirit gave the people in the scripture today the ability to speak in tongue, God, we pray that you give us ability, God. And we pray that we won't be discouraged when others think thoughts on our ability, God. We pray that we'll continue to just be with you each and every day, God, and use them for you, God. We just thank you for continuing to be with us, God. In Jesus' name, amen. 
This was the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for coming back in another episode of Bible Study. This is Bible Study episode 54. We'll be back next week with Bible Study episode 55. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and please turn on your post notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'll see you guys in the next video.